I'm going to talk about guilt to these beautiful divine beings that are watching this. The subject of guilt and how to give it up. The, the most important thing to understand about guilt is that it can come from other lifetimes. And the feeling of guilt is all about lack of forgiveness for yourself and for others. But guilt is a very personal emotion. It's a very personal lie, very much a personal lie towards yourself. It is an attack on yourself and it is unforgiving of yourself. So it is connected to unforgiveness. But guilt itself is ego-driven. It's ego-driven. It's quite a dark entity that uh, holds you ransom. It holds you hostage. And the ego runs your agenda in keeping you in that state. The guilt becomes an addiction. It's actually an attack on the body. Now, we can feel guilty for taking on a body because that gives us a feeling of separation from God. And that guilt can run very deep. It can be right from birth. There might have been contraindications uh, when you were born and uh, contraindications on your body, contraindications on your mother's body. There might have been something that went wrong with her that she had to go to surgery for. That can make the baby that is a highly evolved spiritual being living a human existence feel very guilty for because there is this fear that they've killed the mother or harmed the mother. And that brings on guilt right from birth. So guilt is always there. It's always bounding at your walls of consciousness. It's always tapping at the door. And it's a, a very important understanding of consciousness that guilt does become an addiction. We do get addicted to feeling guilt. Some people have an automatic guilt button. And to be able to change that is bringing in the Holy Spirit. It's bringing in the energy of the Holy Spirit. Now a little exercise to do today to just see where you are at with any guilt that you might be feeling. There's always something there. There's always something running your agenda. It can be slight. It can be huge. It will rob you of joy. It will rob you of abundance. It will have you hostage and held ransom to feel punishment because when there's guilt, there's punishment. And that's a, a very old way of thinking, a very religious way of thinking. So I want you to say something out loud in the way of, I am the most guilty about in my life. Speak it out loud. What is it? What is the most guilty thought or situation that you feel in your whole life? So say it out loud or say it quietly to yourself or even write it down. And what will come to you in the first three seconds is the absolute huge dynamic thought that you've probably never allowed yourself to think before. And it will come to you very, very quickly. The ego is a symbol of guilt. The ego is a false self. We're made up to compete with God. It contains all our negative thoughts that keep us from remembering when we were one with God, for sure. Our personal lie that stimulates the guilt is our worst thought about ourselves, and so on. It's an attack on God. Now, that's pretty heavy, to say the least, but then when we're attacking God with that guilt, we have more guilt because we're attacking God. It's a vicious circle. It, it's quite a dilemma for feeling guilty. It sounds crazy, but it is an attack on God because we are a creation of God and we have God's energy within us. So it's important to not fear the punishment of God because that's what makes it become a habit. That's what makes it become an addiction. So fear of punishment automatically follows guilt because guilt demands punishment. So if you have a problem in your body, like an illness or pain, it's usually due to guilt. 
If you're punishing yourself by taking it out on your body, you're protecting the guilt onto your body. And that's why you have the illness or the problem in your body. So everybody has usually a problem in their body, overweight, pain, illness, inflammation, sciatica, back pain. It can be a mental illness, it can be a mental condition. And they're not giving it the right attention. They're not getting over the problem because they keep feeding that addiction. The ego will tell you that you've been treacherous to God and therefore you deserve to be punished and often that brings on illness which can bring on death that's heavy isn't it but that's what happens to a lot of people the ego is going to tell you you're guilty and you're never going to get over the guilt therefore you deserve to get ill or die and everybody's stuck on this they're not consciously saying this to themselves it's just in the background running your agenda so it's important to allow yourself to be free from guilt. Now it is a big one, it is a heavy one, it is difficult to handle. But it's important to not lie to yourself. It's important to, to not tell yourself that tomorrow you'll start eating more wholesome food, you'll drink more pure water, you'll exercise, because you keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And of course, when tomorrow comes and you don't do what you've chosen to do or pledged that you'll do, to honour yourself and to stop feeling guilty about the way you may be treating your body. When tomorrow comes and if you don't fulfil it, that instills more guilt and that just makes it worse. It just makes it more difficult to break the addiction and do something long enough and it'll become a habit. The guilt onto another person is another addiction that we have. We blame others all the time for things going wrong in our lives. It's such an easy thing to do, isn't it? And we do it. And it, we find it quite easy because it takes the responsibility of us. A lot of people decide to heal others and focus on others and trying to fix their lives because it relinquishes any responsibility on their life. And then they feel that it takes the guilt away from them and they dissolve the guilt now they feel by focusing on another person and trying to fix their life that it relinquishes the guilt takes it away dissolves it makes them feel good about themselves but the soul knows something different the soul knows is struggling with the guilt that the ego has set up for it it's a a, a dilemma that is difficult to work with but it's not impossible nothing is impossible guilt makes us more attracted to behavior that makes us feel guilty okay an important factor the way to clear this is to bring in the Holy Spirit you have to invite the Holy Spirit you can't just expect the Holy Spirit to come in into your body unless you invite the Holy Spirit the way that you do that is to stop lying to yourself. Tell the truth. Don't cheat. Don't thieve. Don't lie to others and don't lie to yourself. Be honest. Be loyal to yourself. Start taking small steps by honouring your body. That is a great start. By drinking more pure water. There are many beautiful water purifiers out there. There's beautiful wholesome food. It doesn't always have to be organic. It just needs to be wholesome. Pure water and exercise. Get out in nature. Go for a walk for 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Get out in nature in fresh air and feel the blood pumping through your body. You don't have to hit the gym. You don't have to run for 60 minutes. You can just walk. When you walk, the angels walk with you. They hear you. They hear how you want to clear this guilt. And the best way to do it is to invite the Holy Spirit, the God within you, Divine Spirit, whatever you see God as. Nature. Just bring nature into your body. And ask for help to clear away the lies and the belief and feel and of punishment. And the best way to start that is to honour your body, the physical body, and the mind 
and know that you've got to start somewhere. You must start somewhere. Start doing good work for others, selfless service, supporting others, getting communities together, learn new modalities, do really good things that make you feel good about yourself, give to charity, give to people in need, share everything that you feel is good in this world. You know, all these things help you get over guilt. You have to keep working on it till you're free. And say to yourself, when you wake up in the morning, an affirmation, I accept my innocence. That's who I am. That's how God created me. I start reading a lot on that side of how God created me and how I am innocent. And I now have total forgiveness for everything about myself and how I communicate with the world. And I tell myself the truth and I'm honest with myself and everything I do. And so it is. Thank you for watching.